giant television proudly presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Alas. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? You do. Why you can't grab me? I'm a game oh, show. Ah. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it. I can. Watch me. I hate that giant. Now, it's Fee-Fi-Fo Yum. And today's contestant, all the way from Middlesex, it's the Wembley Wonders. And they'll be playing against the Fantastic Five, both London Taunton. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom! And now, here he is, every giant's favourite host! It's Dez back on in there! Love ya! Love ya! Love ya! Fee-Fi Fo Young, the show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian's. Yeah. That's right. How's it going up there, Brian? Des, today's a big day because I'm going to break a new giant world record by eating five humunchies in the quickest time ever. Mmm, humunchies. Wow, that sounds exciting. I look forward to that. But remember, Brian, the rules. Before you eat them, we've got to meet them. So let's meet the Wembley Wonders! <laughs> You look tasty. Hi, Disha. Hi, Liz. How are you doing? I'm fine. Introduce yeah. us to your team. This is my team. This is Shania. Hi, Liz. Hi, Shania. Tara. Hi, Liz. Hi, Tara. Anand. Hi, Liz. Hi, Anand. And Janvi. Hi, Liz. Hi, Janvi. I love that way of presenting you've got there, Disha. What type of team would you say you are? Well, we're really confident to be here and think we're going to win. Oh, a confident team. OK, that's the Wembley Wonders. Let's yum, go over and meet yum. the Fantastic Five. Hi, <laughs> Xander. Hi, Les. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm doing very well. We could talk forever, couldn't we? Yes, we could. Introduce us to your team. This is Liam. Hi, Les. Hi, Liam. Emily. Hi, Les. Hi, Emily. Oliver. Hi, Les. Hi, Oliver. And lastly, this is Bradley. Hi, Les. Hi, Bradley. And what type of team would you say you are? We are a very, very confident team, Les. Yeah? So yes. you reckon you're going to win as well? Yes, we are going to win our freedom. OK, that's two very confident teams. Should make for a great show! <laughs> Teams, this is how we play Fee Fi Fo Yum. You will compete in a series of games in order to earn time. The more time you earn, the greater chance you will stand in our grand finale, The Great Escape. So, the team that's going to get beat, Brian's going to... Eat! In record time. Yes, Brian, in record time. You've told us that, but never mind. Without further ado, we'll play game one. <laughs> Brian loves to treat himself to a chow mein, Ooh, but there's one problem, he hates peas. <laughs> I saw that coming! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Right, your job, teams, is to remove as many peas as possible using the chopsticks and put them onto the plates. The team that puts the most peas on the plates will win the first five-second lifeline, but more importantly, take Brian's mind off eating you for a while. So, Brian, who's gonna play? I like the look of Deja mm. and Hernan. You'll do nicely. And Oliver and Leah. You'd make a tasty snack. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play. <laughs> chop, chop. You have until Brian's egg timer runs out to get your peas on your plates. Good luck. Brian, over to you. Three, two, one, chop, chop. That's it, players. Remember, you need to work as a team and you guys need to support. 
<laughs> the Wembley Wonders have got one on the plate already! Oh, it nearly went off the other side. If it had, that would have been a pee on the table. <laughs> pee on the table. <laughs> It's not as easy as it looks, is it? Because you've really got to know what the other player is thinking, almost. Wembley Wonders have got a pee between the chopsticks, but there's also a noodle there. Ah! Oh, there it goes. It's off and it's on the table and it might be off and onto the floor. 30 seconds left. Not quite getting that telepathy between each other, you two guys. Oh! Shots passing about. Wonders are a wonder. They've got another one on there. The other plate looks very forlorn and empty. Oh. Ryan's looking forward to that Five, main without four, three. Three. Yes. It's three nil. Oh, come on, come on. Yes. Oh. Oh. So players, rejoin your teams. Let's see how you did. Will that chow mein keep Brian's hunger at bay? So the Wembley Wonders, you got three peas on your plate. Well done. Nice one. And as for the Fantastic Five, I'm afraid no peas. So no lifeline for you. <laughs> but you, the Wembley Wonders, get a five-second lifeline. <laughs> That's it for part one of Fee Five Bo Young. We're going to take a pea break. See you in a minute. <laughs> World Record Training, Stage 1. <coughs> On the marks, get set, go! You're watching Giant Television. Important job interview. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Desperate to make a good impression. I'm not sure that's going to get you the job. And that definitely won't. <coughs> Time to run! <coughs> if only she was wearing a guff muffler. Fitted in seconds, the guff muffler cuts out those gusset grumbles, leaving you free to get on with what's important. <coughs> Done! <laughs> and that's why they call it fast oh, food. Now, we must be eating world record. Here we come. Welcome back to Fee Five Fo Young, where the Wembley Wonders have a five second lead over the Fantastic Five. But there's plenty of time up for grabs. And what does time mean? Freedom! Yes, because if the other team beat you, Brian's gonna. Eat you. And not only is he gonna try to eat you, but he's going to try to do it in the fastest time possible to beat the world record. So, Brian, I suppose, while you're training for the world record, you probably haven't got the time to think about this next part of the show. Oh, you must be kidding! I wouldn't miss this for the world! Uh, all right, then, go on. Introduce it. It's Dezzy's Tasty Challenge! No, no, Brian, it's Lazzy's Tasty Challenge! Oh, sorry, Dez. <laughs> Dezzy's Tasty Challenge! Do you know, Xander, I must hold the world record for being the only game show host to be trapped on a giant's table for all these years. I don't think I'll ever get out of here. There, there, Les. Oh, Dez, get on with it, will you? <laughs> I hate that. Giant. <laughs> anyway, on with the challenge. Now, under this dish is a type of food that Brian has put here. I have no idea what it is. You have to guess how much of this food I can eat in 30 seconds. Is that clear, teams? Yes, yes! All right, let's reveal the dish. Chili chocolate. So, chocolate with a little chili twist. Yum. How much of this do you think I can eat in 30 seconds? Put your guesses down on your cards, keep them to yourselves. Okay, there we have it. Chili chocolate. So, you know, Brian gives with one hand, takes away with the other. Chocolate, nice. Chili, nice. But together. Yeah. More than 10 because they're really wow. small. 8, 13, Chocolate, nine, 18, eight, 14. Yeah. Maybe I can go for a world record just to get my own back. He's a giant. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Okay, you should have come up with your guesses. Keep them to yourselves as I ask Brian for my light, please. Of course, Dez. Oh, I love the light. Thank you, darling. And now I have 30 seconds starting. Now! Mm. One. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Three. Oh, 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 
20 seconds. Oh, delicious. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Daisy, it is all up. Come on. Oh, gone. Oh, come on. Wow. That was really hot. <laughs> OK, teams, I need to know your guesses. So, Wembley Wonders, how many did you guess? 11. Mm. Mm. Fantastic Five, how many did you guess? 15. 15. Brian, how many pieces of chilli chocolate did I eat in 30 seconds? I can confirm you have eaten eight squares of chilli chocolate. Eight! So that means the Wembley Wonders at 11 are the closest and another five seconds. Well done! <laughs> Oh, We're going to take a break. Eventually, one of these teams of humunchies will end up in Brian's tum. Join Mom. us soon. My turn now, Des. World record training stage two. How quickly can I eat a pack of chocky gobs? <laughs> On my marks, set, go. <laughs> hey, Mr. Giant. Nice day, isn't it? What's the matter? Come on, take your hands away. And the other one. Now both at the same time. Whoa! That's one hairy schnozzer, you big hairy freak show. <laughs> uh, but don't be sad, because help is at hand in the shape of the waste not want not nose hair yanker. Simply apply the yanker to the unwelcome hairy blockage and off you go. Whoa there, big guy, don't fight it. Just let it work its magic. Oh yeah, that's gotta feel good. And hey, don't waste all that lovely nose hair. Why not have it made into our fancy new hairdo? Waste not, want not. The waste not, want not nose hair yanker. 105 grots. Stocks limited. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Young. You'll join us with the Wembley Wonders on a 10 second lifeline. And the Fantastic Five have yet to score. And there's plenty of time up for grabs as we play our next game. But Brian's not happy. And that's because during the break, there was an incident. Brian was warming up for his human cheese eating world <laughs> record attempt by stopping Chucky Gob Vickies. Unfortunately, he dropped a couple in his bowl of custard. Careless. <laughs> Your job, teams, is to fish out the bits from the custard and rebuild Brian's Chucky biscuits as fast as you can. The team that fills the first biscuit will win the five second lifeline. All clear, teams? Yes! yes! Oh, come on, Brian. This sulking won't get your world record attempt, will it? Who's going into the bowl? I want... Jambi. Mmm. You'd make a lovely pudding. And I'll have... Xander? You look spicy. And who's making the biscuit? I'm gonna go with Shania and Tara. Look at all that lovely long hair. Mmm, chewy. And Emily and Bradley. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Vicky Break. Jambi and Xander, you will die for the bits. You will pass them to Tara and Bradley, who will pass them on to Shania and Emily, who will make the biscuits. Remember, you, the Wembley Wonders, you are milk chockey gobs, and you, Fantastic Five, are white chockey gobs. Good luck. The first team to make the biscuit will win the five-second lifeline. Goggles on. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Jambi straight in there. Go on, get in that custard. They're heavier than they look. They're soaked in custard. Xander's managed to get a piece out already. The fantastic fibre ahead. They got two pieces out. Mm, you munchies in custard, love. The clues in the letters on top of the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> As 
the Wembley Wonders get another piece onto the plate. Shania start putting that chucky gob together. They've both got one piece to find. Come on, pull out the pussy. Be really put your back into it. Tara, help her. Get it onto the plate. Yes, 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 Steady there. Sanders still looking for a bit. Come on, it's getting soggy. The Wembley Wonders have got all their pieces off the plate, but they're having trouble putting it together. It's neck and neck. It could be anybody's game. Who will take the biscuit? Whose cookie will crumble? Fantastic Five reckon they've got it, have they? It looks like it to me. That's a five-second lifeline. Well done. Ryan, are you happy? Oh, good. I'm glad you're happy. We're going to take a break. Watch the ads carefully because we'll be quizzing you on them when we get back. And you lot can play along at home. Not that your life depends on it. <laughs> There's Jules. <laughs> Whoa there, Flaky. That dandruff's going everywhere. It's going to take all day to clear up that lot. You need the brand new Waste Not Want Not Dandruff Collector. Stylish and discreet, the dandruff collector allows you to scratch away till your heart's content. Just look at all those lovely flakes. I know what you're thinking. Be ashamed to waste them, wouldn't it? Well, here's the best part. Simply combine your dandruff with one sachet of dandruff delight and you've got a wonderful tasty treat. Mmm, flaky goodness. Waste Not Want Not Dandruff Collector comes in a choice of three fabulous colours. Yours for only 39 grots. Are you sick of all those minty fresh toothpastes out there? I know I was. Then I discovered Cheesy Chops Toothpaste and I've never looked back. Introducing Threezy Cheesy from Cheesy Chops, the new toothpaste your mouth will love. And with three stripes of the most stinky cheese, you can finally achieve the morning breath you've always wanted. Yellow cheese encourages plaque and tartar. Green cheese promotes rotting gums. And blue cheese guarantees horrible breath. Mmm. Three times the cheese. Three times the decay. Three times the stink. Cheesy Chops. It's a toothpaste revolution. Now then, teams, I hope you were watching and listening to those ads really carefully because I'm about to quiz you on them. Give me a correct answer, you will get a two-second lifeline, and every second counts. At this point, the Wembley Wonders, you have ten seconds. <laughs> the Fantastic Five, you have five seconds. <laughs> There's another ten seconds up for grabs, so fingers on your buzzers as we play... Ad Analysis. OK, your first question is, in Waste Not, Want Not Dandruff Collector ad, a sachet of what is given free with every Wembley dandruff wonders. collector? Wembley Wonders. Um, uh, a sachet of um, um, dandruff delight is given with it for free. Let's see if that's right. A sachet of dandruff delight is absolutely right. Well done. Dogs. Question two. How much does a dandruff collector cost? Wembley Wonders. Again. 39. 99. No, 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. Yellow, green, green and blue. 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 Yellow, green and blue. You're all three in yes. <laughs> Question four. Can you remember which colour cheese encourages plaques? Just it, five. Um... Gonna need an answer green. from you. Green. Oh, 
Gonna hand that across because it's not right. Oh, Wembley Wonders. Um, no, it's yellow. Really? No, yeah, yellow. yellow. Is it yellow? yellow? Let's have a look. Yellow cheese encourages black and tartar. Yes, you get another two seconds. Oh, Fantastic five. You need seconds. This is the last question. Complete the giant sentence. Free time to cheese. Free time to decay. Fantastic five. Yes. Free times the cheese. Free time. Do the. Do Gonna need an answer from you. Free time. Free times the black and free times the the gum. The gum. The, the gum. That's not breath. quite right. Oh, is it again? I'll give it you again. Complete the giant sentence. Three times a cheese. Three times a decay. Yeah. Three times that what? Bad breath. Let's have a look if you're right. Three times the cheese. Three times the decay. Three times the stink. Oh. We were looking for stink, so no seconds I knew that there. One. So after that final question. The Wembley Wonders, you got three right, which is six seconds. Well done. Oh. And the Fantastic Five, you got one right, which is two. Oh. How does that affect your overall lifeline? Let's find out. After a word from Jim Elastic. <laughs> Thanks, Les. On today's Get Up and Go Go, I'm here at the London Eye, where I'm going to be teaching you an old classic push-ups. So why don't you go to your nearest national monument and join in with me? I'm Jim Elastic. Join me after Fee Fi Fo Yum right here on GTV. And down and up and a down and a up and a down and a up and a down and a up. Brian, everything all right up there? You, you look a bit troubled. I'm doing facial stretches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, perhaps you'd just like to keep it down a bit because things are getting serious here. OK, teams, this is down to you. Brian doesn't pick any more. You have to decide who is going to take on The Great Escape. Remember, Brian's going for a world record in eating Hugh Munchies as fast as he can. Which team will he be gobbling up? And don't forget, whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands. Such a pressure. OK, I scared. OK, teams, back out of your huddles. I need to know who's playing and why. So we come to you, Wembley Wonders, who's playing for you and why? Shania is playing for us as, as she is really fast, flexible, and agile, and, and we know that she can win our freedom. <laughs> okay, Shania, do you reckon you can do it? Yeah. Yeah? Just that. Very simple, just yeah. Okay, so we come to the fantastic five. Who's playing for you and why? Um, Bradley. It's Bradley. Bradley. Because he's one of our strongest members and he is the second fastest. He will win us off. Freedom. Yes. Freedom. Who's the fastest then? Bradley. Do you think you're okay? Yep. Yeah. Who do you think is the fastest then? Liam. Why didn't you go for Liam? Because, because when you go through sponge, we need a stronger person. Okay, so it's not just about speed. Whoa, mm. tactics. Okay, Shania and Bradley, it's time for the great escape. This is it. Shania and Bradley, Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice and their future hangs literally in the balance. <laughs> it's down to you two to try to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. Watch out for those meatballs, though. Once safely through, you will take on the rolling pin run. But look out, look out. Brian's got those tea bags out. Next, you must complete the chop bar challenge to build a walkway to Brian's big bowl. Then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape down the freedom chute. I don't need to remind you. The team that's not the winner will be Brian's. Yeah. Yeah. So, Wembley Wonders, you have an overall lifeline of 16 seconds. 
Fantastic Five, you have an overall lifeline of seven seconds. So that's nine seconds ahead, Shania. How do you feel about that? I feel confident. Good. And do you think, Bradley, you can catch up? <laughs> I feel confident as well. All right, Shania, you will go on Brian's first whistle, and then, Bradley, nine seconds later, you will go on his second whistle. All right, teams, good luck. Brian? And Shania's off. She's into the donut dash. She's doing well, not a trip. And she's into the kitchen roll crawl. Bradley, you're off. See if you can catch up. Oh, a little trip on the donut dash. It could cost you. Shania's already up. She's onto the nan in a cube. She's getting across. She's avoiding both of those tea bags. She's got a cross. Wow, amazing. Bradley, you need to catch up. Watch out for that first tea bag. Watch out for the second one. Oh, you have to go back down. Bradley's off again. Oh, oh, he's managed it. A fall, but he managed to stay on, and he's falling down the nan in the cube of the old lady lot. And now he's on to the chop bar challenge. Well done, Shania. Make sure you push it up. Don't let the fall get in the way. The ball's just foiling you there, Shania. It's in place, yes. They're both going to get into the ball at the same time. Bradley's getting ahead, but he's slipping back. Shania's just ahead. She's managing to get up. Will she do it? Bradley, come on down. Oh, Bradley, you failed to release your teammates. That means you're not the winner. You're Brian's dinner. dinner. Sorry about that. Brian, over to you. You won't record. Here we come. Three, two, one, go. Sorry, guys, rules are rules, and Brian's in the middle of that world record of ten. Here you go, Brian. I'm here, you. Good luck, Brian. Ah! That fantastic five phone do as fast as he can. Join us next time on Fee Five Fo Yum when we'll have two new teams of human cheese hoping to stay out of Brian's tum and to get their freedom. Okay, Brian, how's the record going? Finish days. That has got to be a new world record. Brilliant, Bryce. So how long did it take you? Uh, oh, I'm not sure actually. Well, why are you not sure actually? I accidentally ate the stopwatch. <laughs> Hi! Switch over to the CBBC channel, please, because we've got Friday Downloads coming up. Chris, can you dance like Aiden from Friday Downloads? Well, I've learned a few new moves. Do you want to see them? OK, cool. Hit it. Yeah, switch over to the CBBC channel to see Aiden do his thing. Two families are leaving their normal lives behind to become Victorian farmers. But how will they cope? No indoor loo. No home comforts, just hard, hard graft. And what about their new neighbours? Well, they're a bit sheepish. <laughs> Two families, one mountain and loads of sheep. Another chance to see Stuck on Sheep Mountain, Mondays at 5.45 on the CBBC channel.